This problem is related to dissociation of N2O4. Let us try this problem. So we have been given 36.8 gram of N2O4 So we can calculate moles of N2O4 This is weight divided by molecular weight So this value is 0.4. So we have 0.4 moles of N2O4. Volume is given. That is 1 liter. Temperature is also given. 27 degrees centigrade. So this is 300 Kelvin. We have been given Kp value for this reaction. Kp value is 0 0.1642 atmospheric pressure. First part of the question says calculate Kc of the reaction. So we have to calculate Kc. If you remember Kp is equals to Kc into Rt to the power delta n. For this reaction delta n is mole of product that is 2 minus mole of reactant that is 1. So this is 1. So Kp is equals to Kc into Rt to the power 1. So we have Kc is equals to Kp by Rt. Kp value is given 0.1642 divided by Rt. Temperature is 300 Kelvin. So from here we can calculate Kc. So 0.1642 divided by 0.1642 So this value is 0.667 into 10 to the power minus 2. Or we can say this value is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus so this is the value of Kc. Now B part of question says what is the number of moles of N2O4 and NO2 at equilibrium? So we have to calculate moles of NO2 and N2O4. Now Kc is known 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 3. Initial mole of N2O4 is 0 0.4. So this is 0 0.4 mole. NO2 is 0 mole. Let us say degree of dissociation is alpha. So it will dissociate 0 0.4 into alpha and it will be produced 0 0.4 into 2 alpha. So at T is equal to equilibrium, we will have 0.4 minus 0.4 alpha and this is 0.8 alpha volume is 1 liter so concentration is simply number of moles
divided by 1. So we can write expression for Kc. So Kc is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 3. This is 0.8 into 0.8 into alpha square 0.4 into 1 minus alpha. So this is 2. One point six alpha square one minus alpha. Now to solve alpha we will make an assumption and assumption is alpha is much much less than 1 so we are making this assumption so we can write this equation alpha square is equals to 6.67 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 1.6 so alpha is a square root of So we can calculate this value a square root of 6.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 divided by 1.6. So this value is 0 0.064. And my assumption is also right because the alpha that is coming that is very a small number. So this is much much less than 1. So we can say assumption is valid. So for part B we have to calculate moles of N2O4 and moles of NO2. So moles of and 2 of 4 this is equals to 0.4 into 1 minus alpha alpha is 0 0.064 so we will have so this is 0.3744 Similarly, we can calculate moles of NO2 that is 0.8 alpha at equilibrium and value of alpha is 0 0.064. So, this is 0.8 times 0 0.064. So this is 0 0.0512. This is moles of NO2 and N2O4 respectively. C part of question says, what is the total gas pressure in the flask? So we have to calculate total pressure. And this is easy. P total. And this we can find using PV is equals to NRT. So we can calculate total moles that is moles of N2O4 plus moles of NO2 so this is 0 0.3744 plus 0 0.512 so 0.8864 we have to calculate pressure volume is given 1 liter we know the number of moles R is gas constant 
and temperature is 300 that is given in the problem you see temperature is 300 so from here we can calculate pressure so this is 21.8 atmospheric pressure and the D part of the question says we have to calculate percentage dissociation of N2O4 and this is easy we have already calculated this one because we know degree of dissociation into 100 is equals to percentage dissociation this is equals to percent dissociation and we know the degree of dissociation that is 0 0.064 so this is 0 0.064 into 100 that is 6.4 percent so percent dissociation is around 6.4 percent so you see this is a easy problem we have to go by methodology first we have to write reaction table once reaction table is done we can equate with the KC value and then we can calculate equilibrium concentrations and total pressure at equilibrium.